Welcome back to the channel. It's okay, Maul. We're actually going to be fighting the Manticore today. And let's get us started on here. Our character sheet, we have 20 strength and 15 agi. Basically a full strength build. Um, looking through our character sheet, we got 39 damage, 150% weapon damage, body part, armor damage, and armor penetration. Pretty solid. Accuracy is really good at 93. And we have a low fumble of 6.5. 15 crit and 30... Wait, sorry. 15 crit, 45% crit efficiency, 31% counter chance. Uh, we do have bleed and daze chance on our weapon. We also got a lot of curses, as you guys can see. We give um, life drain, energy drain, 26% health restoration, 31 for energy. We have 23% uh, chance to block with 47 block power and 54% chance to dodge. Now, if I was to wait in place, this gets better, but... You guys know it's the Manticore fight. We're probably not going to be sitting in place very often, unfortunately. The bleed res is 37. We have control of 40 and 32% for move resistance. 65% for pain because of our crits, or sorry, our curse weapons. And fatigue res is really, really low due to, again, one of our curses. Damage taken is low, but I think it's because I sat and still. Maybe it is just 15%. I don't know. Anyway, it's 85% there. Uh, physical, you guys get the idea here, right? All right, moving on to our abilities. So the way we built this, uh, primarily into the spears, uh, we got these, what, five abilities, five, six abilities here. Precise hits, uh, the pikeman stance, nail down, impaling lunge, no retreat, and determination. Now, Determination, I should be able to use this if I can get the Manticore to walk to me. That'll give me a free hit, and if I walk away again, it'll give me another free hit. That also helps us restore our energy. See how well it goes. Um, moving on to the next. We went into Survival. I've grown how to grab up Adaptability. We needed additional Fatigue Res, so I figured, hell yeah. I went for Ever Vigilant to decrease the accuracy, halving the crit rate of our enemies while also giving us more dodge chance uh, warfare we skipped it we went into athletics we got dash right want to get away from the enemies uh not this time because i wanted to get sudden lunge just so i can uh, reduce cooldowns of the enemies by two i'm oh, sorry uh, uh put their cooldowns on a two turn cooldown right under magic mastery we have to steal the power because we do have fire barrage we didn't get to use this very much throughout the entire run but we do have it Armored combat, we have self-repair. That's that's it. That's basically it. One pyro skill. Nothing else. That's our build. Pretty straightforward. Um, as far as weapons, we went for a blocky, like a high block weapon. So in this case, we have 8% block and 50% block power. Bleed chance, accuracy, counter chance, and armor penetration. Uh, we got this one cursed at the witch, which gave us uh, crit chance and negative health. As you can tell, we have 91 HP on us, so... Got to play it a little safe. Um, but it gave us accuracy and day's chance for the enchant. We have a duelist doublet with pain resistance and unholy and energy. We have the splint van braces, which gave us health restoration, negative damage, and negative accuracy. And the good news is, because of the, all the other enchants and the fact that this one has like 5% accuracy plus the 4, getting negative accuracy didn't really affect our character that much considering we have 93. Uh, moving on with energy drain on the still signet with rending res and energy. We have pain resistance again here with uh, piercing resistance and energy restoration. On the topaz we have life drain slashing resistance and health. The duelist boots gave us a negative damage negative accuracy but also block power and energy restoration with the jousting cloak the nobleman's belts and the ear guards. That's it. That is uh, basically it. Um, I'll use the spider blood flask probably initially right on uh, the manticore. Just to, I think it's the second move he does. I'll throw this in his face. I think that's it. Should be good to go, chat. Okay. <clears throat> good luck, man. How do you like your curses for this fight? I like them. I like them a lot. Frag, you joined at the right time. Absolutely. You want a refund? I'm not allowed to bet. That's <laughs> I want a refund. Um, okay, let's go. Um, I think I go up to about right here, and then I can slap uh, number seven. 
Wait, wait, wait. Move up. And then we should have, like, stacks. <clears throat> I can start this fight off? Check this out. What I'm thinking. What I'm thinking, chat. He's, he, I believe the first move he does is to animate Servant. So let's start off with Nail Down. Okay. After Nail Down, I do Sudden Lunge, which forces him to come into me. Actually, wait. No, that probably won't work as well as I was imagining. Let me do... Let me do number eight. Followed by Sudden Lunge. Because that's going to force him to come into me. And then I walk away again. And I walk away again. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. I don't think I can get a free hit here. So I'm going to go this way. Okay. What's his next move? Animate Servant? Should be Animate Servant. Those are on cooldown. He's on Laser Beam. I figured I'd step there because, uh, yeah, you see what happened. It's a 96. He's going to do that move. Yep. 38% armor durability. Then he's going to do this one here, Vengeance of the Dead. Animate Servant should probably come next. Uh-oh. I got laser beams. That helped me kill one of the skeletons. I think here I'm just going to stand still. Rack up uh, some more pikeman stance stacks. Let me go this way. Take both these skeletons out. Oh shit. Well, that sucks. Eighty-seven percent HP. So I kind of screwed up when I did that. That skeleton can't move. Look out, both of them. Hehe. <laughs> um, he's gonna use the other ability. I need to move here, and then I'm gonna move here, and I gotta move away from him. Gonna rely on um gonna rely on my counter chance right now while I heal up. Okay, okay, okay. Um he's not on our square, so I can move. That works. I move here, both those skeletons are gone. We still have two turns of that. I'm gonna do number eight. 
Hit all of them. Hit them all again. Eight was determination, by the way, if you're wondering what skill I just used. What's he at? 85%. Let me heal my chest again. Rely on counterattacks. He's gonna laser beam us. I think he's healing a little bit, Chet. Didn't mean to go there, but uh, that actually works out. Number eight, determination. Oh, you were right there, excuse me, what? Huh, I did not expect to be within range of him. Oh, Curse of Decay. I was like, why do I have so little health? But that makes sense. Uh, music volume is increased by a lot. Would be great. Did he forget about the drugs? I did. It's all good, though. 78% HP. I'm just going to restack. Uh, hit him with this. Can I hit? I'm pretty sure I can hit him. What? It, it was... Oh my god, it was just out of sight of range. Is he coming to me? He's probably gonna animate Servant. Maybe not, though. Can I hit him? He's just out of sight of range. Let me see if I can light him on fire, chat. Ah. Oh. Laser beams are next. Boom! Ingenious. All right, so I can. He's gonna animate servants, and then I can put fire on the ground. Hopefully, light him on fire this time. He has to step up. Excuse me. Don't be dumb. You suck so much right now. At least that prevents him from healing. 72% HP. I'm gonna eat. Mmm. We're gonna duck and dive here. Animate Servant comes next. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Uh oh, not good. Uh oh, this is bad. Oh, not good.
Do it! What? Now you're laser beams. I cannot get this guy to get lit on fire to save my life. I think we're within range. I hate this guy so much. What about what about now? What about now? No, he's on laser beams. Seventy-four percent. He's gonna summon skeletons. Shit! I can't even hit this guy. We're gonna we're gonna need to start a formal petition regarding in-game music. I think. <laughs> you want me to, want me to up the, upgrade it? Here, hold up. Um, settings. Audio sound. Is that good for you guys? Um, okay. Since I can't do anything, I might as well heal. Um, pop number eight. Get that free hit. Two free hits. Move up. Kill both of these guys. Or maybe just one, whatever. 70%. He's gonna use this one. Well, not until I kill the skeleton. Either way you look at it, this sucks. I wanna kill the skeleton, but I also wanna move around the map a wee bit. Hey, we finally did it, chat! Oh, the fire has disappeared. That's interesting. How'd that happen? He's gonna lion's leap us, probably. Oh my god, your accuracy is so bad. Why? Uh, blast his ass with fire barrage when he uh, when the spike ability is a free hit. Holy crap! A one shot, one injury, not good. Oh, thank you. Determination is broken. I quit. Cheating. Um, he's gonna either Lion's Leap. I'm not really sure what ability he's gonna use. Now he's gonna Laser Beam us. Okay. Determination. Get those two free hits on him. Determination! I'm determined to kill the Manticore today. He backfired, chat. Did y'all see that? I'm gonna come here so I can kill these skeletons off. Double hit. Lion's leaping. He's gonna probably... He can't burst him. So... I'm just gonna get a free hit and we rely on uh, counter attacks. We have freaking, oh my god, the, the amount of stacks I have. I'm gonna move up again and then determination. That works. How does determination work when you're moving? I don't get that. I should probably heal up my torso. How did I hit him? He's two tiles away. I'm confused.
He's on the 49% HP chat. He's either going to Lion's Leap or step into this fire. And it was the fire. And now I can... Um, Yeah, he's gonna blow them up. So I might as well take the opportunity right now to uh, kill one of them. Maybe. Didn't work. I know, I probably shouldn't stand here. In fact, it's actually really bad to stand here. I'm going to break this. Now I have to move away. You freaking turd. Determination. 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 Ah. Let's do some body part damage with number three. And then fall back. He's gonna laser beam us. Stab him in the face. And we stuck him in place, chat! We've done it! We've done things that are cool. Determination still has eight turns, so I can't worry about that one. Um, I don't know what to do here. I can't really, I, I don't wanna go into him. I don't wanna trade blows. So, we just... I guess we just wait a turn. I'll do that. He backfired again. He's gonna blow up again. I just know it. Okay, what's he got? Laser beams? Nicely done. He's gonna summon animated servants. Then afterward, he's going to do the other move he does. He backfired seven times. Um, it works at two tiles too. What is that? I don't even know man. That's the part I'm thinking it's it's broken. I Guess determination marks adjacent tiles for two turns. I never considered that. I Don't know if it's intended. I honestly don't because you read reading determination during the next two turns delivers a free strike um, To each enemy that moves to adjacent tiles not that's the same thing about me moving away, which is, makes me think this is bugged out because there's been times where I've used it and enemies have moved in but haven't gotten attacked. And in this case, we're moving away, we're getting two attacks. I think it's a little broken, it just doesn't seem to be working as intended. I could be wrong though, maybe it is the way they want it. Um, he's gonna be using that next, so I'm gonna go to heal my chest. I want to be like over here. He's going to blow up these dudes unless I kill this guy here. Okay. I'm just trying to see where he's at. And this should be determination time. Oh man, come here. Come here. Twenty-eight percent. He jumps right next to me, chat. So we're gonna go down, then I'll move back up. 
over here. And then we're gonna stab him in the face. Not, uh, not that way, not that way. This way. Good deal. He's gonna laser beam us. He blew up again. That's two tiles away, right? Then it's laser beams. And then we should be able... No, he's going to animate servants. Um, let, him, let him animate the servants real quick. How do, do I keep missing? Now we should be able to pop determination. Did we make him bleed? Oh. He's almost dead. I should be able to use the elixir right now. I should. I should. He's at 15%. I think, I, I, I guess the moment you start yelling, he's good. Motherfucker! <laughs> All my cursed items are gone! No! 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 God dang it, bro! Oh, this is so bad! All my cursed items are gone! Oh, so oh my god, I did it again, chair! Oh, god, this is so stupid. Man! Oh no! Oh no! Every single one of them! Oh, it's bad. That's not good. That's not good. No! Oh my goodness. No! He's bleeding, Chet. He's bleeding. What the hell are you doing over there, man? Oh man, all that, all that work, getting everything. Uh... Oh my god. Oh, it's bad. It's not where I wanted to be. I just need to get close to him. How much HP you got? 4%? Well, here, have some fire. And I keep missing the fire. I don't know why. 2% left. Oh my god. I should be able to kill him. I'm so sad right now. Oh. The. I was so, so strong. This flask, I just had to drink it, chat. Oh my god. <laughs> Goodness gracious, what happened? Oh my goodness. It probably marks the tiles of the Manticore's backfiring all day. You get affected when the next, yeah, you know, the pirate slaps and let it under you. Oh my goodness. Oh, goodness.